Good morning, welcome to Sunday School this week. So, really pleased to be back to with Jenny again this week. So, I'm going to ask you a question first and see if you can answer it. So, it's about an important decision you made this morning, okay? Okay. So, see if you can join in and answer these questions at home as well. So, can you put your hand on your head if you had cereal for breakfast? Oh, I have to do that because I had cereal for my breakfast this morning. No, no cereal for you? Okay. Shrug your shoulders if you had a cooked breakfast. Oh, I wish I was shrugging my shoulders. That would be nice. nice. Yeah, no, not in yet. No? Tap your nose if you had toast for breakfast. Oh, oh toast. Okay. okay. So every day we make lots of choices. We make choices about what to eat for breakfast, choices about what clothes to wear, what to watch on television. Sometimes we know we've made the right choice and sometimes we know that we haven't. So today we're going to read about a woman who chose to, chose to listen to Paul's message. She chose to believe Jesus and gave her life to following him. She knew she'd made the right choice. Our Bible reading this morning is from Acts chapter 16, verses 11 to 15. In the first verse of verse 11, it says we. At this point, Paul is travelling with Silas and Timothy. So that's who the we is, okay? From Troas, we put out to sea and sailed straight for Samothrace. The next day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a Roman colony and a leading city, the district of Macedonia. We stayed in that city for several days. On the Sabbath day, we went outside the city gate by the river, where we expected to find a place of prayer. We sat down and spoke to the women gathered there. A God-fearing woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Tyre, was listening. The Lord opened her heart to respond to what Paul was saying. After she and her household were baptised, she urged us, If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my house. And she persuaded us. But a few questions to see how well you were listening. Question number one. Why did Paul travel to so many places? In our reading this morning, we heard about Troas, Samothrace, Neapolis and Philippi. Why did Paul go to so many places? To tell everybody about the good news of Jesus. He wants to let as many people as possible know. Question number two. What two friends went with Paul to Philippi? Now this wasn't the reason I told you at the start, this given who they were. It was... Silas and Timothy. If you remember those, well done. Question number three. Where did Paul go on the Sabbath day? Look at the answer for this one. Down to the river to find somewhere to pray. And question number four. Who did Paul meet there? There was some particular whose name beginning with L. Paul met. Lydia. And what happened when Paul spoke to Lydia? That's your question number five for today. When Paul spoke to Lydia, God opened Lydia's heart. She believed. She listened to Paul, believed the message, and she and all her household baptised. Lydia learned about Jesus and chose to believe and follow him. We can choose to follow Jesus too. Lydia learned about Jesus and she chose to follow him. So we're going to take a little walk around church now. We might spot some familiar places and let's see if we can find different ways we can follow Jesus when we're at church. We can choose to follow Jesus wherever we go. So let's go for a little walk. When we come into church, we can follow Jesus by getting our minds and hearts ready to worship him. We come into the foyer, we can greet our steward and say hi to everybody and then we go through to start our worship service. As part of our church service, we can follow Jesus by worshipping him with song and joining the rest of our musicians. At our church, we're very lucky that we've got a brilliant bookstall. Another way to follow Jesus is to read lots of books to find out more about him. In Sunday school, we can follow Jesus by reading our Bibles and finding out more about Jesus and how he wants us to live. Also in Sunday school, we can play games and do activities to help us learn more about God and Jesus. So this week, let's see if you can try out some different ways of following Jesus. Maybe you can try out some of the ones we talked about on our little walk around church just now. Maybe you could walk around your house and you could spot some different ways you could follow Jesus there as well. You could try singing some songs to worship him and follow him in that way. You could read your Bible or read some stories you've got about Jesus and follow him by doing that. Maybe you could pray with members of your family or your friends. So just like Lydia had learned about Jesus, we can learn more about him too. and We can show how much we love him by following him. So see if you can try some of that this week. Have a good week and we'll see you next week.